Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. I'm working on a NAD SACD player, NAD M5, which is very good, it's got balanced outputs and um, it's got proper DAX and um, all sorts of things, but that was a matter of another video. This time I want to show you. Uh, I'm doing a laser replacement because, uh, replacement because it doesn't read CDs and uh, I keep telling you that it's never a laser, it's always something else that fails in a CD player. Well, that was the case in the old days where the mechanism cost sometimes hundreds of dollars. These days DVD players cost sometimes $25 and are sold in supermarkets. So given that the box that the case in which it is is the most expensive bit and then there's a transformer like in this particular unit it's Arco transformer which probably costs a hundred dollars alone uh, then there's just not much money left for the laser so lasers are cheap and only work for some time so here we have I'm replacing the laser this is a already new laser in place and the mechanism and this is an old one but one thing you everybody knows about them is that the diodes are static sensitive and as such um, they're being shorted at the factory so they don't uh, blow up. So you're supposed to remove them while it's all installed. But it's not practical in this unit because if I install it all there's just no access. If I put the ribbon there's no access to it. So I'm going to do it earlier. But I am all um, earthed to via the lead to the ground via my mat and one mega ohm resistor. So, where is this short? The short is in different places, in different units, sometimes on the ribbon like in some Sony's, but most often it's on the board. And there is a blob bigger than others and um, the common wisdom says that if you don't know what it is you shouldn't be doing it, or which one it is. Well, but there's another easy way, uh, and of course, the blob here is this one here, is that you have exactly the same mechanism there that does not have the blob, because if it did, it wouldn't have worked. So if you look closely at both of them, you will find a spot where in the old one there isn't a blob and a new one there is. So all you need to do now is to remove it, and that's... Um, that's the that you get, just get a bit of solder wick and um, and get your soldering iron and just uh, melt it there and do this and it's gone. That's all that needs to be done uh, and you can see it's all gone now. So that is all for today and uh, hopefully it will work after I put it in. Thank you very much and bye bye.